Well, we're in a beautiful part of Monmouthshire and miles and miles away, you'd think, from people's problems. One of the problems that sometimes we can be very, very unaware of in our own country is the problem of homelessness. Churches own property and sometimes that property can be land that's not being used for anything in particular. And Housing Justice Cymru is trying to provide homes for people who don't just need a roof over their heads, but places where they can put down roots and become part of a community, where they can flourish, where they can achieve their potential. Faith in Affordable Housing has, has been running since 2013. And it's a project that pairs churches with housing associations to develop affordable housing. Sometimes that's on greenfield sites such as Gleebland. Often that's in church halls that are now redundant. And in the case of Albany Road Baptist Church, that's to refurbish an existing building and to insert some flats into it. The project has been running for a number of years. It's all about adding social value on the ground and in the community. Knight Frank got involved in order to assist them in this by developing a, a mapping tool which will allow them to locate where are the most deprived communities and where would the, the areas benefit most from, from these kind of developments. So we've, we've got data on deprivation, we've got all of the church owned land mapped out and other characteristics of the surrounding area. So the mapping software that Knight Frank have produced for us has been absolutely groundbreaking in Wales. And what's particularly fascinating is where it's shown us the vast amount of church properties and land in those places in Wales where we know there is a real limit of affordable housing for people that are coming onto the housing ladder that may have been born and bred in those communities but can no longer afford to buy it. So this mapping software is helping us to work with churches to look at their estates and to help their mission further when rationalising their estates to make sure that the community can benefit from the church in the way that it always has. In Cardiff as a whole, affordable housing is a huge issue. The waiting lists are just getting longer and longer. One of the questions that came a lot from the church was, who's going to move above? Who's going to be our neighbours? And the truth of the matter is, we don't know. And in some sense, I think that's fantastic because it's not up to us as a church to decide who is worthy or not worthy to get that accommodation. It is actually up to the council. So the council will look at people's applications and put the most suitable people in that accommodation. Another fantastic benefit of the church partnering with a housing association to do that is actually you've got some accountability. Again, working with Faith and Affordable Housing, I think the things that they pointed out which were really relevant was that the rent itself is affordable for the people, otherwise it sort of loses the entire point of having affordable housing. Man a problem genethol yng Nghymru gyda ffrindiau'r tai. Mae hynny'n arbennig o wir yn yr ardaloedd lle mae'n alot o ail gartrefi neu o gartrefi gwyliau. Wrth i ni ddod allan o Covid un i'n gweld lot o eglwysi yn ail ystyried. A dyn nhw'n gwneud y defnydd gorau o'u hadeiladau ac o'u tîr. A mae'r cynllun ffydd mewn tai ffordiadwy yn cynnig cyfle arbennig i'r adnoddau yna, a'r tîr yna, Aros yn y gymuned fel bod pobl leol y gallu rhentu tai yn eu cymunedau. A mae hwnna'n waddol y gall eglwys yn y tristwch o gai fod yn falch o honno fe. So it is an open door to work with the church, being so community focused, because unless you get the community on board, you can never deliver. You know, you have to work with them rather than against. So what we're trying to do essentially here is satisfy our social purpose as a provider of low-cost accommodation. We're working with the church who have a moral purpose, which is to help the poorest and most vulnerable in society. The homes we've built here are built to the highest standards. Uh, we've introduced heat pumps and solar panels, as well as extra insulation in the walls and the roof, in order to ensure that the properties were not just affordable to rent, but also affordable to run. What you see behind here now, these aren't four houses, these are four homes. A house is an asset, a home is something from the soul, not about the head. That's about where you go in the evenings, where you feel safe, where you feel secure, where your family is. So what about the future? Well clearly churches are changing, churches are thinking about the future, reorganising themselves to be fit for the future and serve their communities even better. And that will inevitably mean that uh, you identify bits of property that maybe you don't need anymore. And it just seems there are going to be more and more opportunities for us to work with Housing Justice Cymru to achieve more affordable housing and most importantly, homes for people in communities.